This is not financial advice, not legal advice for entertainment educational purposes only. And anything I say is my opinion. Please don't make any financial decision based on anything I say in these videos. That being said, hit the like button, subscribe button, like YouTube algorithm stuff so you get the videos I put them out. See them thinking, see them analyzing that data, but like I tell you every day, the day they release us is false. I'm going to give us a false narrative to the market so we can make bad trading decisions. Listen, people have been asking me, do I think AMC is being run by fundamentals now? Do I think that what's going on in the market, you can really predict it with the charts, with the RSI, with the, you know, the, the EMAs, 200 EMA, 100 EMA, blah, 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 blah. Listen, listen to me. Listen to me. The MACD, this is just my opinion. I'm not telling you to buy, hold, or sell AMC. But like I tell you every day, the data they release us is false. They manipulate they manipulate the data. They manipulate the market. I mean, it, it, as far as I'm concerned, in my opinion, it's absolutely outrageous. These guys were able to push <laughs> the short interest down to like 21%. Okay? They were able to put the, the short interest down to 21%. So, so that means that they returned millions of shares. But, but the price didn't go up. The price didn't go up, so they bought back all these shares, allegedly, and returned them. Where was the buying pressure on the market? There wasn't any. AMC is run by pure criminality. There's no other explanation to the price action we see in AMC every day. In my opinion, once again, I'm not telling a buy, hold, or sell AMC. The fundamentals are totally irrelevant. The only way that I see any movement in AMC is by the criminality of the bad actors. They move it up and down depending on their, their liquidity. And I know I say it every day, the liquidity is drying up. The banking sector is not going to be giving them these high-risk loans. And though, even though everybody wants to save themselves, the hedges can't save themselves. Their only hope was retail investors selling, but they got too many retail investors involved in the play, and they kept doubling down on the counterfeit shares. So now there's so many people involved in the play who, and and this is just my opinion, I have no evidence of this, it has gone beyond money. It has gone beyond money. There's a lot of people who would rather let their AMC stock go to zero than to sell to these guys at $5. So if the hedges, the bad actors, the co-conspirators was hoping that retail investors give in, I don't see it happening. A majority of retail investors, based on everything I'm seeing in the market, would rather AMC go to zero than give these bad actors their shares at $5. So all you bad actors... Who think you're going to get out of this scot-free. You're not getting out the play. And because the judge. <laughs> judge Zern in Delaware. Is putting the pressure on y'all. <laughs> avoiding that reverse split. So y'all could have eliminate 90% of your cheers for free. I believe. And it's just my opinion. That you guys are going down. Before the June 30th deadline. Anyway leave some comments. Tell me what you think. Do you think that AMC is being run by fundamentals or could be gauged by fundamentals or does criminality control the movement of AMC stock price? Anyway, have a great day. God bless and I appreciate y'all on this journey with me.